Alright, so this is like the third take. I don't know if you can hear in the background, the uh, neighborhood ice, ice cream truck has <laughs> been driving by. Um, very, very loud, actually, once it gets closed. I don't know. <laughs> if any of you guys watching this actually have an ice cream truck, can you please explain to me how you make money? Like, seriously, like, one kid every mile, I mean, is it a hobby? I, I don't know, you know, making kids happy, you know, I guess I can understand that. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> Behind me, we have an old 1990s Easy Go electric golf cart, which is awesome. It was donated by a very nice guy named Ken. Uh, my dad actually just dropped it off today. He picked it up for me. Um, and uh, Ken and his two sons are big fans of hybrid, inter not hybrid, sorry, of alternative energy solutions. And so we were able to come to a really good deal on this golf cart here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the rear axle, which includes a differential and an electric motor all in one assembly. I'm going to pull the rear shocks, leaf springs, wheels and tires, the front steering box, um, probably the steering column and wheel also. And then I'm also going to pull out the front shocks if there are any. Some models have some, some don't. I haven't checked. And the mechanical speed controller. Then the, all the copper left over I'm going to go and take to the recycling plant. Um, I don't think they pay for copper anymore, but I really don't care. I just want to make sure it goes to the right place. And then the rest of it I will put online and either um, scrap out or donate to the school's design center. Um, I know they have need for just scrap metal to practice welding on, um, so I'll see if they want to take it before I let anybody else take it, because obviously, you know, teaching people skills for the future is much better than just throwing it in a trash pile, which I, I don't want to happen. So, or I could practice welding myself. There are some things I could repair and then sell it as a repaired golf cart chassis. I don't know. I'm going to try the donation option to the school first. But um, So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do nice time lapse, like always, add your own music, and you get to watch me struggle at taking this thing apart because I can't find my rust penetrant. So it's going to be fun. Fun day. Yeah. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to run to the store and get some rust penetrant because I can't find where mine went and all this stuff is pretty much stuck. So, yeah. All right, so we got some rust penetrant and some wire brushes and I'm gonna break down this box to kind of soak up any of the grease. <laughs> it didn't work like I wanted it to. Okay, bye.